Well, hello, wonderful people. We are in a slightly different location to our normal situation, but that's because we're we're about an update today. We're not we're not going we're not going to town on a big podcast. But this is an important day. This is an important time to be doing this because David Hart is about to embark on a journey of great magnitude. A journey that. Um, strikes fear. Um, yeah, that's it. it just, just strikes fear. <laughs> no, yeah. No, that's mainly the feeling that comes up when I think about this event. Yeah. Fear. Um, giddiness. Giddiness. Excitement. Hysteria. Apprehension. Um, laughter. Yeah. Sadness. <laughs> it really doesn't matter, does it? It can, no. it, it can be... A whirlwind. A whirlwind. Emotions. A whirlwind of emotions. But um, in all seriousness... You know, there is quite uh, quite an experience that's about to come your way. And mm. before you jump into that, I sort of wanted just to take a moment to explore how your uh, your training for this has been going. And yeah, just get your thoughts going into it. So we're a day out. Essentially, when, yeah. So it begins on Saturday, 6 p.m. 6 so p.m. all kicks off. Yeah. So we're about, I mean, by the time you see this, we'll be you'll be about 24 hours out from really the, the the full the full works the full yeah shaboodle mm. as i like to call it and mm. um, for those of you that don't know already uh, dave is about to embark on a month long fitness journey um do you want to tell him what the uh, the four challenges are again just to to re restate i know we've mentioned them before maybe they've not seen them actually but yeah make the mentions. yeah this is this is all going to be on heavy repeat and it should be so but the yeah the four challenges are as of saturday Running four miles every four hours for 48 hours. Um, so that's going to begin Saturday, 6 p.m. It's going to finish Monday, 6 p.m. Um, sickening. Sickening. I know. I know. Trudy. Uh, I'll run for 30 meters with you. <laughs> Beautiful. That's all we need. Or a walk. Or a gallop. We can gallop for 30 meters and I can run. Or I can... Maybe I'll just get on the bike. So, and I'll really pick the moments where you are at your biggest level of struggle <laughs> and really prod me. Really prod me. <laughs> yeah, there's not going to there's going to be no words of affection coming your way. It's just going to be more of a gentle prod saying, "Come on, let's get this done. Hurry up." Yeah. Yeah, no, I need that. I need that hard love. Good. Good, good, good. Um, but yeah, big big yeah, start. So yeah, big yeah. Start, big so start. it's roughly yeah, 24 miles a day. Um and this is all going to be whilst I'm working full time. So these are my two days off, having a day's rest. Then I'm doing something called a Murph, which is popular in the CrossFit world. It's running a mile, 100, pre- 100 pull-ups, 200 press-ups, 300 squats, followed by another mile. Now, typically this is done with a weighted vest, but I'm going to be doing it twice a day without a weighted vest for seven days. The weakness is already showing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Completely. Yeah, uh, it's still ridiculous. And then, so th- th- seven days in a row. Seven days in a row. Seven days in a row. Yeah. Oh, it's twice a day. Twice a um, day. Seven days in a row. Day off. One day off. Then hoping to run. Congratulations. <laughs> Such kindness you show yourself. Well, you know, well, the day off will just be, well, I'm working actually, so there's no <laughs> rest there. <laughs> So yeah, I'll I'll sleep intermittently somewhere. Sure, in there, sure, 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 sure. Uh, then it's a, a running a hundred miles in a week, which is roughly about fourteen point one seven one 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 seven three four one. I don't know. You put it in a calculator. It's a long number, but six. Yeah, it's forty. Yeah, basically fourteen miles a day for seven days. And then to finish this off, like every good composer does with a crescendo is 4,000 burpees. I just got straight uh, hits to music club, chasing status. Finishing off with the crescendo. crescendo. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, the crescendo is 4,000 burpees in 40 hours as a minimum. So the idea is that I actually want to try and do as many burpees as I can in 40 hours. What are you aiming for? 
I'm. I mean, I don't know. I feel. I oddly enough, I feel. I feel confident. Maybe it's naivety playing a big role here, but I feel confident <laughs> that I can do four thousand. I'd like to go over five thousand. That'd be cool. Um. You may. Who knows. Who knows? Are you are you going up in in multiples like going in thousands? <laughs> going thousands. Four thousand, five thousand, maybe six thousand, maybe ten, I don't know. maybe twenty thousand. Who knows? Okay, yeah. Again, I will join you for the grand total of I don't know, maybe twenty burpees. Thirty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're going up in multiples of twenty and thirty. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going, yeah. No, I'm going what any reasonable human being would probably go up in. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I'm not going up in thousands. Sure. Uh, but again, I mean, that is a ridiculous feat. Um, but, you know, it, to, to, to the same human being, you'd be like, how truly is that going to happen? But, um, you know, something that I can attest to uh, being living in the same house as you is that you have been training big time. You have been training big. So tell us a little bit about how sort of that that, that build up has been going for you. Um yeah, I'm re- I'm interested to hear. Yeah, so it's 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 kind of it's been in a work in progress. It's been a steady progress, um, but basically a little bit of backstory um, was going to the last year was going to the gym a lot, five times a week. Um, had been quite a keen runner. Running had slowed down. Um, job complications ensued. I started working for a company called Food Stuff. Big shout out to them. Um, Shout out. Basically, an independent bike courier service that um, delivers food for independent restaurants. And as we as we got into January, I was still gymming, still doing running and biking. So I was doing these three things in tandem. Um, and I was doing them so often that the thought occurred to me that, well, let's... Let's keep this kind of train rolling. Let's keep this moving. Let's keep this going. So let's do a set of exercises that involves no biking whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do burpees, which requires no bike, press ups, never <laughs> running. <laughs> um, no, no. I, I, you know the fit, the fitness journey rather the than fitness, the specific exactly type. Yeah, the yeah, fitness yeah, yeah, yeah. journey. The fitness journey then kind of ensued in a. As soon as I knew I was doing this event, as soon as I concocted this event in my head, um, that's when I really started kind of um, putting my foot to the floor, so to speak, and and really working my way. So, yeah, so on a day-to-day basis, it started looking like I'd wake up, you know, five, six in the morning, go for a run, which would sort of normally be around anywhere between six to 10 miles. Um, It would then be followed by a foodstuff shift, which would be about two or three hours on the bike. I would then um, train after that, which would normally be very specific to the what's coming up. So I'd normally go and do lots of pull-ups or lots of press-ups or lots of squats or a combination of those. And we're always talking in, in sets of 100, 200. You know, it's 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 got to be specific, right? It's got to be it's got to be relatable. I get that. Uh, then I would go and do another food stuff shift, um, and then that would be my my day. Um, but the food stuff component is really interesting because a lot of this is mental fortitude, um, not just being you know conditioned enough to do this. And there were days where it is absolutely. Just hammering wind, it down. Wind, wind, rain, rain, sadness. <laughs> and I'm already exhausted and I'm having to go out on this bike. Who knows how far I have to travel and I'm in these horrible conditions. And it's the same for the running as well. But I persisted. I knew that this this month is going to be harder than anything I've had to do in the past. So if I can get up and show up and keep going out, um, I can build that sort of mental stamina, that strength, um, and it just kept building and building. So the really, the, the, it's very simple. My my my, my training has been very simple, but that's what it looks like on a day to day basis. And again, I can say, you know, I've I have watched you get yourself up, get out there training, and especially in your rhythm now, right, where you're back at um, Urban Larder, another great independent coffee space. Um, you get up, 
you go and do a run, some form of workout, go and do food, st- uh, sorry, urban larder, come home, eat a bit of food, or it's work out, eat a bit of food, go and do um, food stuff, come home, get that recovery right, and then go to bed and then repeat. And you have been on that journey for, for months now. And I mean, it's, you know, if if anyone can do this challenge, it's it's you. But, you know, obviously there's a real personal gain from uh, the, the perspective of getting... Uh, the, you know, just the, just completing the challenge, right? But but what's this all for? Why are we doing this? Um, so this is all for Cancer Research UK, um, and specifically for an event called Relay for Life, where families that have been affected by cancer, either directly or indirectly, get together um, as a community to raise money. Um, uh, and you know, on the build up to that, everybody's trying their best efforts to raise money. And raise as much money as possible to basically provide um, funds for the the treatment um, and the research that goes into to um, preventing these issues um, and providing the life saving treatment. Um, so, you know, we, I, I've we've been doing this for years now, um, and we've been doing multiple fundraising events, but this is certainly my most audacious. Um, I would attempt. hope. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is not like, you know, this and is. I, this yeah, is I try and I, I try and rival myself each year, so I don't know what next year is going to look like. But uh, we'll see how this year goes. For, to begin with, yeah. let's just see how yeah, this let's goes. See, let's see how this goes. But you know, just a, a, a massive shout out to you, really, for for getting this done and and yeah the, the the work and energy that's that's been going into this and and how hard you've been working to make this happen so you know there is if there is someone that can do it it's you um but again this is all for a great cause so if you've got a few pennies to spare you know get involved in in something that is for a great cause but also you know it's is it's something of where you're gonna you're gonna earn those pennies you're gonna earn them yeah yeah well and that's what i want to do you know i really really want to um kind of beguile people with just the the uh hardship and the the extremeness of this event and hopefully that will kind of um enliven them and and encourage them to give money when they can so and i believe it will and we're going to be following this journey all the way through the month there's going to be loads of updates and loads of check-ins but yeah please you know come and check out dave's um, instagram page but we're gonna have some stuff on serotonin as well but i mean yeah best of luck buddy best thanks, of luck man. thanks man watch this space watch let's, let's keep this, this going here we go space. here we go all right catch you in a bit <laughs>